Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Kat, and today we're talking about the effects of extinction.、Mm-hmm. And we're not just looking at kind of one animal dying out, because nature is always a, a system, right? Yeah, exactly. Everything that happens will affect other things. Yeah, you don't just one species dies in isolation and then that's it. Everything、mm-hmm. else carries on as normal. Yeah, it's like a chain of effects. Yeah, exactly, and that. That's why it's really important to try and protect animals and plants that are in danger of dying out. Right, because plants are part of those chains, those cycles as well.、Mm-hmm. But what can we do, just as regular people, students, workers? We're not kind of nature experts.、Yeah. We don't go out and work in places and look after the animals. So what can we do? Well, one thing I think of is eating less meat. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because often you know meat. Requires you know animals to be killed, and、mm-hmm. whether that's like an endangered animal or not endangered, but、um, you know it definitely has an effect on the environment. Right, and the farm spaces that they have to use to grow the animals or feed them means that the wild animal spaces get taken down.、So、yes, exactly. That's part of it. We can also donate money to charities that look after animals.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we mentioned the World Wildlife Fund before、yeah. we started. Or- Greenpeace. Yeah. Um, yeah, although Greenpeace, you know, they're they, a little controversial. They do, yeah, they do other things as well, and sometimes、yeah. it's not always friendly. But、yeah. such is life.、Uh, mm-hmm. But yes, there are plenty of charities that look after animals, and you can also just educate yourself so you understand what's going on,、mm-hmm. and then maybe make decisions about shopping, eating.、Yeah. Traveling、yeah. that can help protect endangered animals. Exactly, things like you know elephant tourism in、mm-hmm. Thailand. Yes, like you should not go to a place that lets you ride elephants. It's not good for them. That's just one thing you can educate yourself on.、Um, but we're going to talk about a different animal and a one particular animal that's affecting things in Taiwan because、mm. it is endangered or extinct. We're not really sure which. So let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, read through, find out which animal we're talking about. Reading. The effects of extinction, not just one species. When animals become extinct, it's a real tragedy. But many people don't think about how it can change other parts of the world. When one kind of animal disappears, it affects both the species they eat and the species that eat them. When predator species at the top of the food chain are no longer around, the impact is especially serious. For an example, let's look at Taiwan's clouded leopards. These beautiful cats once wandered Taiwan's forests, but now there are likely none left here. One of the clouded leopard's prey animals is the sambar deer. Male sambar often rub their antlers on trees and eat tree bark. Peeling the bark off the outside of trees can cause them to die, though. Since there are no leopards left to hunt sambars in Taiwan, the local sambar population has exploded. They're damaging Taiwan's forests at a fast rate. This could cause environmental changes that harm other animals and plants in turn. This situation is just one of many examples of why it's important to protect all types of animals in our world. So our article begins by saying, when animals become extinct. It's a real tragedy.、Mm-hmm. So extinct, of course, means the animal is dead. It's all disappeared. There are no more left. None in zoos. None in special parks. Definitely none out there in the wild. Yeah. So they're they've just been killed. They've been eaten. Their homes have been destroyed. And the word tragedy is used to mean a very sad event, a sad occasion, or just simply a very sad fact. Uh, we often use it. We don't use it to say an, an old person passes away.、Mm-hmm. That's not often a tragedy because it's kind of expected. Yeah, it's something you shouldn't expect. Right, a、yeah. tragedy is is both a surprise and a very awful thing, as demonstrated in this example sentence. 
The parents never fully recovered from the tragedy of losing one of their children to illness.、Mm -hmm. That is a tragedy because、mm. you think that your child was going to live a long life,、right. and then if they don't, then that's just it's yeah, it's tragic. It's, yes, it's tragedy. that's the adjective form, tragic.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So of course, extinction is a tragedy. It's very sad, and it's something you don't want to happen. The article says, but many people don't think about how it can change other parts of the world. Right. That's the idea we were talking about in、mm -hmm. our introduction. This idea of a system,、yeah. this thing having、uh, what we call knock-on effects. Yes. And we mention that in the next sentence. When one kind of animal disappears, it affects both the species they eat. So that's on one side,、mm -hmm. and the species that eat them on、yeah. the other side. Now, notice there we're using the word species as a plural, okay? Because the singular form and the plural form are the same. It's species, whichever way you do it.、Yeah. And a species is a particular kind of animal or a group of similar and related animals.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got think of a dog. That、yeah. is one species of animal, and a wolf is the same species. No,、Pretty、they're not. Pretty much, or has it got a different? Canis lupus and Canis, Canis domestic. domesticus. They're two、uh, different species. Speci but species genus, isn't it the same? That's why they can breed. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if they're considered the same species. I th I've got. We'll look、eh. this one up. I'm pretty sure that they are the same species, but just slightly different.、Mm. Uh, one thing that is true is this example sentence. There are many different kinds of dogs, but they're all part of the same species.、So、that is true. Very big dogs, very small dogs. They're part of the same species, but、yeah. like elephant and giraffe. They're two very different species of animal. Yeah, or things like、uh, horses and donkeys. Yes, they're they're also different species. Even though they can make a child, that child cannot have more children. Right. So that's what makes them not a species, or not the same species.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we talk about species going extinct, that means one particular kind of animal. So the article says when predator species at the top of the food chain are no longer around. The impact is especially serious. So we're talking about food chains here.、Mm. Food chains are when you have one animal that eats another, that eats another, that eats another, and something like that. So what is at the top of the food chain is the predator, and we're going to learn about what that animal right now. All right, a predator is a noun here, or you can use it as an adjective, as in predator species. A predator is a living thing that eats another living thing as food, especially one that hunts them or tries to trap them. So, a leopard could be a predator. Some kinds of、uh, wolves and dogs—they're actually predators.、Um, your cats are predators if they catch and eat bugs and mice. That's what makes them a predator. The opposite is called prey, and we're going to talk a little bit about that later. But just know that prey is the thing that a predator eats. So things like big cats, bears, spiders, and even some plants are predators. The plants that open up uh, to uh, you know let a fly come in and then they close on the fly—that's a predator kind of plant. So anything that eats another living thing for energy is a predator. All right, so that's what a predator is, and、mm -hmm. we're saying that they have a pretty significant impact when they go extinct.、So、exactly. What is that? Well, an impact is an effect. It's a result or consequence of something. This thing happens, and whatever happens has an impact. It affects something.、Mm -hmm. We generally use the word impact when it's a larger or more serious one,、mm -hmm. kind of effect.、Yeah. If it's just something minor and it doesn't really change much, we would say it doesn't really have an An impact. It doesn't have much of an impact because、mm -hmm. we can also use the word impact to mean when one thing hits another. That's an impact of a fist hitting a hand.、Mm -hmm. So you can see how it's you know a big change, a serious change, something like that. Yeah. So we've got these food chains, and if the predator at the top is gone, a lot of stuff happens to the animals underneath it in the chain, and that's kind of what we're going to get into. Yeah, so you would think that when one animal is no longer eating you, would be a good thing, right?、Mm -hmm. But it's actually not. So we're going to take a look at a particular example right now. Let's look. So the article says, for an example, let's look at Taiwan's clouded leopards.、Hmm. Yeah. So the clouded leopard is—you、um, might have seen it before. It's not the leopard cat. It's not the little tiny. 
、uh, gray cat. Those are not extinct. They are endangered, but they're not extinct. Clouded leopards are thought to be extinct in Taiwan. So a clouded leopard is a big cat that used to live in Taiwan's mountains. Leopards are the big cats that have a lot of spots on their bodies. But clouded leopards look a little different. They're more gray than brown,、mm-hmm. and they have big cloud-like spots on their fur. They're very pretty cats, and they're actually not extinct everywhere. A lot of them still exist in other parts of Asia, like the Himalayas and Southeast China.、Mm, yeah. I didn't know that. I wonder if they could be brought into Taiwan and introduced. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Okay,、know. but what we do learn, as Kat mentioned, these beautiful cats once wandered Taiwan's forests. But now there are likely none left here.、Mm-hmm. So yes, before we had these leopard cats up in the mountains and in the forests. But、uh, we were talking before; it's been a long time since anyone's seen one. Yeah,、uh, there might have been、At、a camera a shot or something. Or they set cameras up in the wild to see、yeah. if there's any sign, any movement, or any footprints. They look for them to see if there are any left. But now well, there are likely none left here. Yeah, because they haven't seen them、mm. in a long time, or they saw one recently, but before that they hadn't seen one for like thirteen years. Right. Yeah. Well, what do they used to do? They used to wander around. Let's look at that word, wander. So to wander means to move around a large area, often without any real direction or purpose, and you don't wander quickly. You kind of wander slowly, checking out this. Changing direction, doing something else. Now these cats weren't just kind of looking around, kind of seeing what was going on. They would have been hunting. They would have been looking for things to eat or places to sleep, that kind of thing. But they weren't just going from A to B without stopping or changing around. You could also talk about wandering around a park or a garden, just looking at what's there and enjoying your time, not moving fast. For example, we could also say. We spent a pleasant afternoon wandering around the city's colorful shopping district. So these cats used to wander around,、mm-hmm. but there are likely none left now. Yeah, that's right. So we see that they say that there are none left,、mm. which is a particular grammar pattern that you can use sometimes, which is there and a be verb and a noun, and then a past participle. Or you can also use. Ving. So, That's right. Like you could also say there are none living now.、Mm, yeah. Yes, there, there are, are none living in the forest、yeah. anymore. There are none wandering around. Something、yeah. like that. And we say likely none because、mm-hmm. we don't know a hundred percent. Yeah. Which is probably true. Probably true. Yeah. So there's no more of these clouded leopards, and、mm-hmm. they were at the top of their food chain.、Yeah. Nothing was eating them. But they were eating other things. Yeah, and we see that one of the clouded leopards' prey animals is this sambar deer. Yeah, so that was just one. It had other animals as well, but one of these prey animals, these prey species, was this kind of deer.、Mm-hmm. And we know, because Cat explained earlier, that prey is something that is eaten by a predator.、Mm-hmm. Now, some animals can be both. They can be both predator and prey. They are eaten. And they eat other things. A lot of fish fall into this yeah, category. Yeah, that's true.、Um, but clouded leopards are only predators, and these deer are really only prey because they just eat plants. But、mm-hmm. in some types of animals, some bugs, birds, fish, they are both. They're somewhere in the middle of the chain. Yeah, I think some small cats are probably the same way. Like some cats are hunted by I don't know wolves or, or mice.、Like. I mean, mice、yeah. eat bugs and things like that, but they're also eaten by owls, cats, and so on. Uh huh. Yeah, so there's diff- there's definitely animals that can be both predator and prey.、Mm-hmm. So the prey here that we're talking about is the sambar deer, and the, so the sambar deer is a particular kind of deer. And if you know what a deer is, it's the kind of four legged, and they have hoofs, and they have big antlers. If they're a male, we'll talk about that later. It's But- Bambi. Yeah, Bambi. So the sambar deer is a kind of deer that lives in like India and Southeast China and here. Which is about the same places that clouded leopards、mm. used to live. Okay, are they、yeah. big ones? They're pretty big, quite、yeah. big ones. They're、okay. dark brown.、Yeah. All right. So, what do we learn about these deer, and how is the clouded leopards' kind of extinction affecting things? The article says male sambar often rub their antlers on trees 
and eat、mm. tree bark. Okay? okay, it's one of their sources of food. Yeah, they rub. Yeah.、Uh, to rub means to make a repetitive and moving contact with. Say your hands are cold, you rub them together to make them warm.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, you rub your arm, something like that. You could、uh, rub your head. Yeah, if you've made a mistake on your paper, you use an eraser to rub it out.、Mm-hmm. In fact, in the UK, we don't say eraser; we say rubber. Well, there you the go. The thing you use to rub out the mistake.、Ah, I、And、thought it was because it was made of rubber. That's partly it, true, but it's、okay. connected to the verb as well. Okay. We could also say, "My cat rubs its body on my leg when it wants something to eat." Yeah, my cat. They do they do the that all the time. So these、yeah. deer, they go up to the trees and they rub their. Antlers on it.、Mm-hmm. What, what are their antlers? So antlers, like I kind of alluded to earlier, they're the big horns that、uh, grow from the head of a male deer. They have multiple points on them. They're usually really big and、mm. bony and very beautiful. Actually, every deer species almost has antlers, and hunters often want to take the antlers home as decorations, hang them on their wall because they look so amazing. Um, and deer use them to do things like fight,、mm-hmm. defend themselves, and in this case, they want to look good for the ladies. Yep, and、yeah. of course, they're rubbing them against the tree to get off the bark and get some food. Yeah, and to get off the velvet, because antlers grow underneath this kind of layer of fur, which is、mm. gross. But they need to get it off, so they will, you know, rub their head against、okay. the tree. Yeah. So yeah, it does. That's what the deer uses the antler for. But this in itself, so leopards eat the deer, and the deers are affecting the trees. That's right. We see peeling the bark off the outside of trees can cause them to die, though.、Mm-hmm. So this is bad for the trees. If the bark keeps getting rubbed off the hard outer skin of the tree, then the tree will maybe become vulnerable to cold, to、yeah. infections, to bugs, that、yeah. sort of thing, and then the trees might die. Because they've had their outer layers peeled off,、mm-hmm. and to peel means to remove the outer layer or skin of something.、Uh. So if we have an onion, you don't just bite into the onion because that outer layer is kind of like papery and really not that good. So you would peel the outer layer off. You, some a lot of people would peel an apple or a pear before eating it,、mm-hmm. maybe just to get rid of that skin if they're worried it's got、yeah. chemicals、or、on it. Or peel a potato. Yeah, you would often peel a potato to make potato chips. And here's another example: the little boy can't peel a banana by himself yet, so his parents do it for him. Peel a banana. Yep. Pretty simple. Yeah, exactly. So they're peeling this bark off this tree with their antlers. I'm sure they're not trying to do this, but they—that's、uh, what they do, and、mm. then ends up killing the trees. It's called girdling, and、uh, yeah, it's a really bad thing to happen to trees. And the thing is that clouded leopards are not eating these deer anymore.、Mm-hmm. So the article says, since there are no leopards left to hunt sambars in Taiwan, the local sambar population has exploded. <laughs> Wow, not blo- like not like that. No, the deer are not blowing up randomly. That sounds weird, but no, we're going to learn about what this other meaning of explode is right now. All right, this meaning of explode, which is a verb, of course, usually as we said, explode means something like a bomb or a fire will go boom. But this is a different kind of explosion. That being the noun. It means that the population of sambar deer increased very fast. When something explodes in number or in popularity, it means there wasn't that much of it before, or there was a stable number, but then it grew very suddenly and to a large degree. So that means that you know maybe before there were a few thousand sambar deer. Now there might be hundreds of thousands. We don't know. I haven't looked up the numbers for this, but it's much more than it used to be, and it grew very fast. So here's an example of explode. After the game introduced this cool new feature, it exploded in popularity, and everyone wanted to play it. So we got loads of deer all、mm-hmm. of a sudden. Lots of deer. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, sure, great for the deer, but not so good for the trees. Exactly. The article says they're damaging Taiwan's forests. At a fast rate.、Mm-hmm. So, of course, if you don't have deer being eaten anymore, their population is going way, way up, and that means more of the males are rubbing their antlers on trees, and more of those trees are dying.
So the article says this could cause environmental changes and harm other animals and plants in turn. So we have this in turn here at the end of the sentence. In turn means it's kind of a series of causes and effects. So when A happens, it causes B, but then B causes C. This is in turn. So for example, one teacher gave us too much homework and it <gasps> took up the rest of our week. Oh. In turn, we weren't able to do the homework for other classes and our other teachers got angry. Oh. So we have cause, Effect, cause, yeah. and effect. You're yeah. right, and it just kind of keeps piling yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. It's snowballing. Right,、yeah. and as the article says, this situation is just one of many examples of why it's important to protect all types of animals in our world. You、mm -hmm. might think, oh, this one's not so important, but take it out of its chain, and suddenly everything else starts to go wrong. Yeah. Kind of nature generally does a reasonable job of balancing out.、Mm -hmm. So if you mess with nature and pull things around, the whole pattern starts to fall apart. Exactly, and that's I think why we're having so many environmental problems, or it's one reason,、mm. because a lot of animals are dying out, and the effects they're having on the environment are no longer happening. Right, even if it's several things down the chain. Yeah. All right, that's all we've got time for with this article, but we've got a little more in our chat question. So let's go there right now. For you, chat. All right, so our chat question today: What other extinct animals do you know?、Hmm. How might their extinction affect the food chain and humans? I guess when I think of extinct animals, I'm often thinking of ones that lived a long time ago.、Mm -hmm. You know, big hairy mammoths, yeah, you know, like hairy elephants、yeah. and things like that. And I don't really think them not being around has affected us a great deal. Yeah, you, you know, know, not today. Not, not today.、Anymore. Same with the the dodos that lived <laughs> on the the island. Mauritius, yeah, on Mauritius, they've all died out. But because they were only on an island, it's only kind of affected the chain on that island. Yeah. But、uh, wolves have been made extinct in many parts of the world. They don't have wild wolves in the UK anymore.、Really? I think they might be bringing a few into Scotland. Okay. But、uh, they were all wiped out basically,、mm. and that affects the food chain. The wolves aren't eating things like deer or other things, and that changes things in the same way.、Mm -hmm. Those, you know, those deer start to do things to trees or. Plants and the plants take over other areas, so、yeah. that's why they're trying to bring wolves back in to control other things. Rabbits, for example, rabbit populations exploded, and that actually led to a lot of rabbit diseases. Yeah, nasty stuff rabbits, like that. Rabbits, you know, they they tend to breed really fast, and they can actually have some harmful effects, even though they're cute. Yes,、yeah. uh, and they, you know, they will eat grass and they will do other things that might change things. So it's the same kind of chain effect. So、that's、basically, what I'm going for. Yeah, basically, you don't want to have too big a population of any one thing.、Mm. Is what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. So you, can you think of any more?、Uh, megalodon. Oh, that's a an, giant shark. An ancient, the biggest shark that ever lived. It used to eat baby whales. Wow. Yeah, and so I think because it went extinct,、um, whale species kind of were able to. Grow and、okay. to become more diverse. No,、ah, that's、yeah. interesting because、yeah. more of them could survive. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and that then has a knock-on effect. They eat stuff. Humans start hunting whales because、yeah. there are more of them. So yeah. yeah, it's all this kind of cause and effect in turn. And it could be negative effects or positive effects. That's true. Yeah, sometimes not having these big ET monsters around、mm -hmm. might mean we can, you know, build a few more houses and grow a few more things. But、yeah. that has an effect as well. Yeah, everything has a consequence. Yes, exactly. We have、oh. to think about everything that we do. Right, and that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. For English for you, I'm Pat, and I'm Kat. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Tragedy. The earthquake killed hundreds of people. And it took years for the area to recover from the tragedy. Species, species. Sometimes animals of the same species can look different from each other, such as dogs. Wander. We wandered around the night market 
and stopped at many interesting food stands. Rub. My cat rubs her head against my leg when she wants some attention. Peel. Jeffrey carefully peeled the sticky paper off the wall and tried not to damage the paint. Explode. Sales of the novel exploded after it won some international awards. 智慧小补帖 Extinct. Predator. Impact. Prey. Antler. The show is produced by Huayong Kongzhong Media. Huayong Kongzhong Media Publishing, please search the world's best bookstores. 如遇索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。